in, in every culture uh, throughout history, there's always an assertion that there's some kind of spiritual or ethereal dimension to who we are, right? We're not just lumps of meat like animals, but we have an, an ethereal or sometimes even an internal soul of some kind. It's all kind of um, crinkly. The point of those crinkles is to maximize the surface area. These are called the diary and the sulci, right? So the, the curves and the dips, all these holes, <coughs> that's, what they're, that's what they are. And that's what I was trying to draw on the board there. Because those holes are also determining, like the, the, the way the neurons are oriented is also bending along with those curves. So also, so like the magnetic field that you're getting from the, the magnetic fields that are, they're generating. So each time your, your neurons fire, they're also generating like minute magnetic fields. So the direction of that, you know, the right hand roll is all actually all wrapped around with each of these uh, um, diri and sulci, right? So that's the first thing you can notice out here. And just when you get it, just touch it and see, you know, what, what is consistency? You know, touch it, take it, sniff it, I mean, don't lick it, <laughs> just know what it is, you know? No, don't lick it, but, you know, just know what it is. It's, it's not, it shouldn't just be a picture to you, right? Um, so, this is the other side, on the inside of, of the brain. So, what you can see here is, uh, so what are these? These are called the ventricles. Right. This is where the a lot of the cerebral spinal fluid goes in. So another thing that you see, oh great! Oh, That's see what, okay, so what is this? This, do you see this? Yeah. Cerebellum, close. Um, so this is what we would call the tree of life. It has that very distinctive look, right? That tree, that tree of life, right? And so what are, you see it here and you see it in other places. What? What is that? What's all the white part? It's, these are actually the axons, right? Oh. Bundles and bundles of axons in the, Schwann, in the Schwann cells. So yeah, fat is kind of right too, because the myelination, the myelination, that's basically Schwann cells, right? The uh, glial, glial cells, right? Um, so that, oh, I'm so glad they didn't destroy one. One of the major ventricles here. Uh, but this is the corpus callosum. Oh. So yeah, it's exactly, yeah. <laughs> Dang! Just on the tip of my tongue, right? So the corpus callosum is, you know, what connects, connects the, the two sides. halves of your brain, right? And so it's a major channel for communication from one side to the other. So these are all the axons and the myelinated axons. So they're, it's like a big foam cord, you know, with all the different little wires that just bundle together, right? And then kind of just a, a, the super highway of information from one side of your brain to the other. So that's why it's so, um, okay, so split up and just take a closer look and really, I mean, this may be your one chance to touch it and see what, it, what it's like. So here we have the pork brain. Right. What's the first rule about when you cook meat? You want to sear the outside, right? So watch that protein cook. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> when you melt sugar and you heat it up, it turns into caramel. Right? Oh, caramelizing. So caramelizing means caramelizing. when you're like, like onion, yeah. yeah. Browning is basically a caramelizing process. Mm -hmm. So the sugars in the onion are like when you have a turkey, like a chicken, right? Uh, the fat and the sugar in the skin browns. It's because the sugar is basically um, um, caramelizing. Yeah, it's, it's browning. It's, it's the carbon. It's, what makes it brown is the carbon in the Carbon. I, I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Okay, maybe we can even break it apart. Um, oh! So you can see what the tissue looks like. That's so going to cook more thoroughly, hopefully. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can you eat the brain? Can we actually eat it? Why not? It's just meat. <laughs> but it's brain. So, <laughs> have your um, sweet breads, right? Sweet breads are the, the thyroid gland. It's really. Delicious, right? Or liver? Any of you like liver? Yeah. I mean, it's just a nor it's an organ meat. It's a meat. It's an organ meat. It's a meat. Yeah. Okay. Ten tacos plus. <clears throat> so this is what you use to think, <laughs> right? All your hopes, all your dreams, your loves, <laughs> your hates <laughs> are caramelized here. <laughs> Okay, let me just make sure I get this. Because if I die, then at least, at least my family will know I did it for okay. science. Right. You want to test it? Whoa. So, yeah, so some mushroom and brain. Oh! Wow. It's creamy. Whoa! Is this creamy? It's just like cream. It's like. <laughs> no, it's got more consistency than mashed potato. It's kind of like um, a little bit like tofu, but creamier. Like a really creamy, rich. It's like tofu in cream pasta. Well, have you had pate? Hmm? Yes. Pate? Yes. It's kind of like. It's like pate. Yeah, it's got that creamy, creamy flavor. Oh, Bosco. Oh. Okay. Hmm. You survived. Yeah. 
just yeah. put that thing. It's actually, it is. <laughs> no, no, no. I, again, it's just like you wouldn't eat somebody's, you know, hamburger after they played with it. <laughs> so, okay. Uh. Oh, you want to try? Yeah. Can I try it? <clears throat> I, I don't think I'll, I'll ever have a second chance. Yeah, to don't don't um, use. Go okay. Before you do, take off your gloves, wash your hands, and then come back. Okay. 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 It's like it's like normal. It just melts. Yeah, exactly. It just like melts in your mouth. Yeah. It's creamy. <laughs> Did you wash your hands? Okay, is that the clean set? Yes. Okay, okay. It's like a tofu with uh, the taste of a beef and butter. You can spit if you don't like it. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're gonna try? Okay. <laughs> Just a tiny piece, okay? Oh, you guys are all gonna try it? <laughs> so next time we'll take a closer look at visual cortex. And again, as I was saying before, um, what we're going to see is this, this amazing sort of map. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, this mapping, right? So let's say the cat seeing A, B, C, just like the people in the front row. Uh, that's going to translate into the actual cell structures, right? Um, so here we have the, the actual neighboring clusters of cells will be arranged in the same way. Have, is there, there's that uh, spatial mapping that occurs, um, or as they say, topographical. So here we have the eyes, right? And then they cross over. So this is a superchiasmatic magnet nucleus. And then some of it crosses this way, right? So on the same side. This, this field of vision crosses over here, and we have those six layers, right? Visual cortex, six layers. For the main, one of the main structures is here, it's called the lateral geniculate nucleus, LGN. Right? And in the LGN, you see this kind of layering of cells, right? And again, just like if this is a, your retina, and you see point A, B, and C, if you do here A, B, C, you'll see the same thing, right? the same kind of arrangement. So if suddenly I removed A, whatever probe is here will stop signaling, right? So, and that's pretty amazing. So there's like this correspondence between the outside world and what's actually occurring in your head. And here's, um, again, the layers of visual cord. So this is further downstream, right? So downstream here, so LGN, what we just saw was here, visual cortex is down here, right? So um, you see the same kind of spatial mapping from what, what's actually 
getting input onto your retina and the cell the overlapping mapping of that in the cells of your of your visual cortex, right? Um, so it's it's not a mystery, right? It's not like we have to wonder, you know, is if there's some cloud, you know, in your head that is processing that visual information that you see in, in, from the environment. So this, what does this show you? When I when I look at this, I think of data compression, right? What I mean by that is, so these are the rods, and you know about the rods and cones in your eye, right? The cone, the color, and the rod for the light, right? Um, uh, so in terms of the amount of information that is happening, um, that you're picking up, and the amount, uh, it, that gets compressed, right? So you're not actually channeling all that information. It, it's getting selectively um, filtered. And that's what we're, we're going to actually look at next time. In terms